Okay, time to get this quest. Uh, time to get this quest. And then I believe this one. And then we can start hunting down the. Uh, what? I believe we have to get those flame claws. Yeah, get killed the fire claws. It would be my honor to speak with you. I've heard of you, Antris. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. But they did when I was younger. Uh. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. You're old. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. Hunting you in your place? You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuk custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. Hmm. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. The claws this beneath. machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. Yeah. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. Oh. Okay, I'll hunt for this you. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? Oh, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I so is it just it, it another word for me. Frostclaw? Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. You must respect me. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's one of the daemon machines. I'm more, yeah, I'm guessing it's already a daemon machine.
we're yeah. Laz, but oh, are we freezing. We gotta snipe it. Uh oh, spotted. Do I run? Wrong way, wrong way. I exploded your brain. Run away and fear me. Yeah, how dare you attack me? Edge of the cut. The Nook said I'd find the clues beneath nearby. Gonna be a cutscene, isn't it? Oh. A control tower. Not much gets past them. Oh! There you are. Like I'm not said. You're a rock breaker. I didn't expect the rock breaker. Beneath was a rock breaker, but I thought they lived out in the desert. Whoa, missed. Oh, I can't fire air. Er, I just have to fight. Shoot uh, when there's a missile fully loaded over there. Come at me, bro. Ooh, 
that broke your arm. Improved ice rail. Come on, show yourself again. Back to the dude. Luckily, I had that upgraded uh, ice rail. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rock breaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you more than earned it. Yep. One blue gleam. Dang. I believe that's all. All the side quests in the cut. Okay. Let's go do this side quest, the free heap. And the free heap. I believe that's the last one of the game. Okay. And since it's... I'm guessing... Since it was already a main... <sighs> a main game quest, it's probably going to be not that hard. The claws beneath, I guess. Mm, yeah, it was a rock breaker by a unique rock breaker, breaker like Red Maul. I expected something like Red Maul, where you, you, could, you could actually see that he's been damaged from previous fights.
Alright. I guess I should open these now. It does more damage. Here's the Quite a bit of did more damage. Hey there. Aloy, fancy seeing you all the way out here. Aren't you going to miss your battle? There's still some time, and I had things left to do. Lots of moving parts to you, aren't there? I like that. You're welcome here, though I can't make you as welcome as I'd like. We're being pressed by machines on one side, bandits on the other. So I've been trying to finish up this beauty, to settle our territory disputes. Could use your help. The scrapyard? What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal and the dust storms. And the heaps back there. A scrapyard, piled by Osram past, from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. <laughs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I can taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Mm, yeah. Stockpile, maybe. Or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. The but don't ones. you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. Some delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. The forge so woman. you're a forge woman. You run the forge and the town too. The town is the forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument, any time someone wants to hammer in a bolt. <laughs> that sounds infuriating. Oh, it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I cooled in my ways. Uh, where did you go? So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osram camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. Hmm. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. What's this, this weapon? weapon you're working on? It's like the cannons back at Meridian. Uh-huh. Was glad to get reacquainted with those guns. I'd been building this one from memory. In the hands as much as in the head. Like you. You craft your own ammunition, I can tell. Little scars on your fingertips. Making this beast? Same principle, just bigger and louder. How can you I help? You say you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? Okay. Up oh, level 17. Wow.
No, I don't even need the ice cannon, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Yo, what up? How did I not hit you? Annihilated. you got anything better to do? I think they heard us. Man, I don't even need to get headshots anymore. I just need to hit them in general. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. I think they're all dead. Okay. There, a power cell. One, got two, need to get a third one. Of course, I can't go to the front door. Where are you? Don't tell me you're up there. Yeah, yeah, you were up there, dang it. Scrappers, yeah, all right. I almost didn't see you. Oh. Okay, I gotta climb up here, I guess. Can I go up? You're kidding me. Where is it then? Oh my gosh. Okay, 
done. Now to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. Yep. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. I slaughtered all your friends. I don't know what you mean by that. Hope they haven't stripped the parts already. like shooting watchers in the face. I see a tank over there. Yeah, yeah. That's about all of them. Oh, Deathbringer. Those look even chained. <sighs> Weapon Back part. To Petra. I've been in the scrapyard long enough. That is quicker. <laughs> Might be cheap. Why am I? No, no. Stop. There are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Do they now? Hold this thing steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let <laughs> it talk terms for us. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for. All right, all right, I got it. <laughs> Ugh, heavy. All I can do to hold it up. Ugh. If you're coming, run this forge dirt town red, boys. <laughs> Manners. Oh. <laughs> She's working well so far. Room for improvement on the gun. No complaints about the gunner. Ooh, I just annihilated his friends. I shoot one beat at you. All right, you want to play the light? Anyone but a bandy clan would pull back now. Come on, you fuckheads! They only have one cannon! <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. 
shield. They're gathering under the bridge, Aloy. Bring it down on them. What? It's your bridge. Bridge is coming, go. Shoot it down. I shot at it. Oh, boy. Whoa! <gasps> Might have overdone it a little. Now I'm no soldier, but I saw that a lot. Teeth hurt from all that. That's interesting. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. <laughs> More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work? It could have not worked? Uh, it isn't finished. That's why we're testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. You're owed, Aloy Machine Hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. Whoa. Still feel the lightning snap in my hair. Okay. There's plenty of work here, but none. Oh, hey. I did not see you there before, but okay. Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. Uh, trade? What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Belagia the task of getting cables from that herd. But Zorgris and Belagia are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Belagia wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed the herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Last Where scene. did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Jor Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. <laughs> I would run off in search of them, but since Tor Grease took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. Oh. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? They were headed to the arch northwest of here to watch for the herd. I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. Hammer and steel. Talk to Petra. We just helped her, so hopefully she's not too mad at us. Oh, he's so pale. A few minutes at the forge, the heat'll put some color in your cheeks. I don't need a forge for that. Rushing into the wilds should do it. Mmm, what's lit your fire this time? I can handle it. No doubt you can, but if it involves free heap, I need to hear about it. You sent two hunters after a herd. They've gone missing. Well, they couldn't have. Caliph could find a needle in a slag heap. Unless he didn't go. Careless, two-fisted smelter. What'd he do? Traded places with Jagris. By uh. fire and spit! Uh, trade. What are you gonna do about this trade? Waste of Caliph's time and mine. Jagris and Baladia didn't need his push. They're bound together. Just like in the forge. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not the arm. Never figured Kayla for a tender sort. <laughs> You're not angry? Oh, I'll make him sweat it. But one thing I've learned, some things will happen no matter what you do. Behemoth Why did you cables. need behemoth cables from that herd? Those cables make the best fuses for our cannons. Even so, they wear out fast and we always need more. Oh. Our guns keep us strong and free. Without them, we're easy scrap for bandits and machines. You could trade for them. Some supplies we need to get on our own, or we're dependent on others. 
That's a burden we won't bear. But you asked me for help. Ah. <laughs> Some burdens are welcome. Uh, thanks. Why the urgency with this herd? Uh, because Once the that herd hits the cauldron, it'll be out of our reach, and another won't come for a long while. We need those cables, and we've got to take them now. Okay. If you find out. those two, send them back in one piece. If you bring me behemoth cables while you're at it, I'd be beholden to you. Careful. It could become a habit. <laughs> By fire and spit. <laughs> find the hunters. Okay. Let us go find some missing people for like the tenth time. That's because I couldn't concentrate with you hammering on. Oh, you kept asking me questions. When did I start smithing? <clears throat> Someone's coming. Hello. Are you Jaw Grease and Balaja? Caliph sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just why don't I track it down for you? I, I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. All right. Nope. I can sneak up on the herd better without conversation. <laughs> Arguing, you mean. I'll go with you alone. Jorgris can ask his incessant questions to the wind. Why did you even agree to the trade if you can't stand a minute of my presence? If you weren't... Enough! Jagris, Baladja asked you to switch with Caliph so she could spend time with you. What? And if I heard right, Jagris led you off course so he could spend more time talking with you. Uh, really? Now you talk Ooh. it out while I get those behemoth cables. Where did you last see the herd? Ooh, they oh, like each uh, other. Up on that ridge. And take some arrows with you. <sighs> Thanks. Changed your mind? Ah, yes, fine. Actually, see, she knows where she's going. If it's so easy, why didn't you do it? That uh, ambulance just drove by, right by. So if you guys heard that, that's what it was. Search for. Found some tracks. This way. What tracks? I don't see no tracks. Oh. So you last saw the convoy here. Focus on the hunt. <laughs> Did you give her fire arrows or the regulars? I thought you preferred them. By fire and spit, Jorgri! Stop asking questions! I'm about to spit fire! <laughs> he asks questions because he likes you. He lost the herd to spend more time with you. And Jagris is here instead of Caliph because you wanted to spend more time with him. Now let's get this herd! Okay. Get ready. Ayla is pretty mad. Wait. Oh. Come 
Hold on. Come on. He got the first punch in. They're fighting each other. Oh boy, this is going to be entertaining. <laughs> I like that line from Aloy. I'm about to spit fire. <laughs> Oh, he's the one I'm controlling. He came to help? No, I already scrapped that one. Okay. Your agrees. I, I didn't know. I, I thought you were questioning what I was doing, like I had to defend myself. I would never. I, I just wanted to know more about you. I like the sound of your voice uh. when you're yelling. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mind all the questions. It, it's kind of sweet, actually. Just not when we're hunting. Yep. What's up with that? And we, uh, we figured it out now. Beladja and I, how we're gonna be together. Uh, I'm so happy. I can't stop smiling, but I feel pretty silly after all this. I'm usually much more direct. Thanks for putting up with us. Could we take the cables back to Petra for you, or would you prefer to do it on your own? Yeah, I'll do it on my own. I'll take, I'll back. take the cables to Petra. You had enough of us already? We could use a bit more time alone exactly. with each other. Thank you so much. And um don't wait up. Yeah, exactly. I had enough to put up with you. <laughs> Wow, 
bad fireplace. Okay. You've got those behemoth cables, don't you? I knew you'd come through. And Jagri's and Baladia should be along. Eventually. They're together. Finally. Petra put me on guard duty for a month, so I'm glad it was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. <laughs> Thank you, Aloy, for enduring them. I believe that's all of the side quests. I believe that's all of it. All of them. Huh. I'm gonna check out this place to see if there's anything here. But yeah, I'm gonna end this, I'm gonna end this episode right here, guys. If there's nothing at the town, I'll just pick up at the final episode, which is gonna be hunting down the fire claws. All right, see you guys.